so much for being with us tonight. This is, this is great. We didn't know for sure what to expect, and uh, this is great. We're coming to you from uh, Salt Lake City at the Galvin Center. You can tell we're in Salt Lake because there's ice skating going on behind us, and uh, for some of you that might be in warmer climates. Um, we're happy to be here. Uh, this is the Mike Christians and the trio, and I am so happy to, to have these other two musicians uh, with me. Jim and I um, both come from up in Cache Valley. Jim lives in beautiful downtown Benson. And, and I live in Smithfield. And I know 
you know, you say you come from Cache Valley, and a lot of times people down in Salt Lake are like, ooh, wow, that's a haul, you know, coming from all the way from Cache Valley. It's really not that bad, you know. I know when I was a kid, uh, I grew up in Provo, and uh, that was a, a billion years ago. But uh, in Provo, I used to, I remember thinking as a, as a young guy that uh, I thought there was uh, Provo, and then there was um, Salt Lake City, and then there was Logan, and then there was Canada. And I thought that was, it was, it was right next door there. And uh, it's really not that far north, but uh, it is up there, and we're always just a little bit chillier than, uh, than what you are down here. Let me introduce these two guys. Maybe first of all, before I do, I'll tell you that the first tune that we played was an original tune of mine called So Easy at uh, a nice um, bossa nova that I, I, I love playing. And uh, I studied uh, some in Brazil, and I played bossa nova before I went down there. I took part of a sabbatical and went down to Brazil and worked with Antonio Adolfo, who uh, did some work with Joe Beam, and he also did some work with Sergio Mendez. And, uh, and then I worked with Thiago Trajano, who's a great guitarist down there. And then uh, Thiago and I did some uh, work in New York. And uh, so it was my great honor to go down and, and study a little bit with those, those people. I know when I walked in, and some of you may have heard me tell about this when I played with an evening with Brazil, um, or an evening in Brazil, that I walked into Antonio's studio and I was playing some stuff and Antonio said, what are you doing here? And I said, I want to lose my accent. And I said, I sound like every other American guitar player when I play bossa nova and when I play samba. I want to lose my accent. I want to sound more like the, the real thing. And he said, okay, well, we'll have you take percussion lessons then. Which I thought, okay. So I studied uh, percussion instruments, and then uh, what they have you do is transfer what you're doing on the percussion instruments over to your right hand uh, when you're playing the guitar. And, uh, and it's a cool transition, and it really does uh, get rid of the, the accent to some degree. And I know when I left, Antonio told me, he said, Mike, you sound like a karaoke, which means a local. And uh, I knew he was lying, but I still felt, I still felt really a, a lot better about it from what I, the work I did with those guys. So love playing bossa novas and sambas. The second tune, maybe some of you recognize, that is a, our take on the adagio movement from the Rodrigo Concerto de Aranmas, and uh, which is a gorgeous piece of music. If you haven't heard the Rodrigo Concerto, you really owe it to yourself to listen to that. The adagio movement is absolutely breathtaking. I've had the the privilege of playing that with symphony orchestras before, and uh, it's wonderful on a classic guitar, but it's really cool with, <laughs> with the trio, too. And uh, Miles Davis has done a version of that. Jim Hall did a, a take off of that as well. So, And then the last piece that we played right there is a piece called Olio, which is uh, a really fun bop tune, and uh, that's a jazz standard that's been around for a, a long time, a tune by Sonny Rollins. So let me introduce these two guys to you over here on Woodwinds, Woodwind Specialist on clarinet, soprano, saxophone, and any other saxophone he can get his hands on. Tonight, some tenor. Uh, so this is John Flanders over here on Woodwinds. It's great. John, John is a very in-demand player in, in, around Salt Lake City, um, playing, I don't know what, three gigs a day? Something like that. So, I mean, he's just... That's, that's what he does, you know, he just, he plays gigs all the time. So it, we've had the, the, the privilege of playing together, uh, playing uh, some casuals, and it's, it's fun to now do a concert situation with John. John is a, an amazing player. And over here on the bass, Jim Schaub. Thank you, Jim. Jim is wonderful. He's just an amazing bass player. He can play any style. Uh, we played together for 82. Since 1982 80, years? 82. No, since, oh, yeah. 19, <laughs> eight, since 1982. Feels like 82. Feels like 82 yeah. years. And uh, we have played every gig uh, known to man. Uh, everything from rock and roll dates to uh, jazz quartet dates to classical dates to whatever. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, yeah, we played yeah. some country. Yeah, we played some country d dates when, when we had to. No. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, and I don't mean to denigrate country music. 
And if you like country music, denigrate means to be little or put down. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, so here comes the live stream from the South flowing in. So I love playing country music. Country music paid for my garage, and it's just uh, it's wonderful stuff to play. All you got to do is be around some of those guys from Nashville for a while, and you know that some of that stuff can be can be pretty heavy. Very, very fun to play. But Jim and I have played a lot together, and Jim is, I always know when uh, I was a professor for 40 years and uh, at Utah State, started the guitar program there, and I brought in a lot of guest artists uh, during that time, um, big names in, in the world of guitar, and I, I always knew that if I needed uh, a backup player or for any kind of a date or a warm-up band or whatever, I could always count on Jim. Because uh, he can read it all, he can play it all, and uh, and he's just fun to be around. So, anyway, Jim Schaub on bass, and I'm Mike Christiansen. So, thank you for being with us tonight. We appreciate all of you coming. Thank you. Like I said, this is part of the uh, Excellence in the Community uh, series here in Salt Lake. And uh, special thanks to Jeff Whiteley for all the work he does with the Excellence in the Community. They do, they do amazing work, and to put on these shows is no uh, easy thing. And uh, Jeff not only has to work with all the scheduling and everything, but he also has to work with all the musicians, which is, uh, which is sometimes a challenge. So this next tune is a nice, slow ballad, one that we love playing, um, a piece called Emily.
tune that uh, was not written by Joe Beam, even though he gets, it seems like every time somebody plays a bossa nova, they say, this was by Joe Beam. Um, and he did write a lot of them, and some wonderful ones, but he didn't write all of them. And uh, this next one, actually he, I shouldn't say that because he co-wrote this, but this is all, uh, also by Moraes. This is a piece called Aguas de Beber. And so, yeah, we should give Joe Beam a lot of credit on this one. Thank you. 
Let Jim sing one here. Yeah. Jim is uh, also a very fine singer, and he's going to do Bye Bye Blackbird.
Thank you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fantastic. Um, a Pat Metheny tune, a piece called James, which uh, was on Pat's uh, off-ramp album, and uh, he entitled it James. He dedicated it to James Taylor. So this is Pat Metheny.
things down one more time. Um, I get to play a solo on the... What's that? Uh, let me play this one and then we go. You'll all recognize this one. This one.
We'd like to thank a few people right now. Um, and this should only take, oh, 20, 25 minutes. Uh, is Jeff still out there? Yes. Jeff, do you, do you want to read these? Or do you want me to? Okay. Um, I hope I'm okay on the pronunciation. So these are the sponsors uh, for excellence in the community. Uh, Chris, is it uh, Andre? Andre, uh, and the Galvin Center, of course, and uh, Salt Lake City uh, Redevelopment Agency, City, City Center Marriott, Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall, Salt Lake City Council, Zoo, Parks, uh, Zoo Arts and Parks, Taylor Audio and Visual, Taylor, is that who's doing our sound tonight? Thanks, guys. Great, great job. Thank you. And uh, Utah Division of Arts and Museums, Larry Miller Family Charities, George S. and Dolores Doré Eccles Foundation, Dane's Music, provided the piano, which is over there. We're just not using it tonight. But it's a wonderful piano. And the R. Harold Burton Foundation, the Consulate of Mexico in Salt Lake City, Jazz Mentors Foundation, Excellence, and Jeff Whiteley and all of his crew. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you. Thanks to all those people. And maybe put in a, a little plug here, too, that uh, we'd encourage all of you, if you feel so inclined and so desired to do so, to make a donation to uh, at Excellence concerts.org. That's excellenceconcerts.org. So uh, help support this wonderful cause and, and uh, be generous with those people. So our next number that we would like to do um, is, is a kind of a slow one too, but that, that's okay. It's kind of a medium up. This is a tune by Sting called Fragile. and then you forget that you did that. <laughs> I remembered, so give me a second. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it changes things considerably.
on, the, on an old standard. So. Bottom? Bottom. Bottom.
Let Jim sing Skylark. Skylark, have you anything to say to me? Can you tell me where my Is there a meadow in the mist Where someone's waiting to be kissed Skylark Have you seen a valley rich with green Where my heart can go wandering Over the shadow in the rain to a blossom covered and in your lonely flight haven't you heard the music in the night wonderful music sad as a will of a wisp crazy as a loon sad as a gypsy's serenade in tune Skylark I don't know if you can find these days But my heart is riding on your wings So if you see them anywhere Won't you leave me said Skylark Have you anything to say to me? Won't you tell me where my love can be? Is there a meadow in the mist? Will someone wait to be kissed? Skylark have you seen a valley rich with green? Well, my heart can go on wandering over the shadows of the rain to a blossom coming day. And in your lonely flight, haven't you heard the music? In the night, wonderful music, strange as a willow wisp, crazy as. 
as a loon, sad as a gypsy's serenade. But my heart is riding on your wings. So if you see them anywhere, won't you lead me there? Another kind of a different twist on an old standard. Oh, all right. We got 16 minutes. Huh? We got 16 minutes. Yeah, let's do more than a minute. Okay. I'm watching that come kind of closely because I'm told that Jeff Whiteley pulls the plug right, right when we're supposed to be done. So. We'll plug it right in. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you need it. Yeah, you just come in with the tune when you show up.
Another original tune by uh, John Flanders, a tune called Bossa Nieve. Nieve. Uh, oh, okay. So uh, tell us a little bit about this tune, John. <laughs>
Let's do harvest moon. Okay. Can we get really commercial for just a second? Okay. This is just a nice tune. We love playing this. <laughs> this is a great tune to play at a casual, but uh, it's also very fun to play when you see people, if you do it in a concert situation and you see people get into it and they go, I remember this one. <laughs> tune by Jimi Hendrix. Oh. Not the last one. This is this next tune. This is Little Wing.
four in the round. Four? Thank you once again for being with us tonight. <laughs> this was really fun for us. We, we hope you liked what you heard. Um, thank you. Thanks to Jeff once again for putting this all together. Jeff called me up and said, I've got a great idea. Why don't you, uh, why don't you come down with the Lightwood Duo and do one of the concerts? Well, I used to play with the Lightwood Duo. I played with the clarinetist. We had a bunch of recordings out, and uh, we had done some of the excellence and the comedian, I said, well, that, that'd be great, except half of the duo has moved, and uh, <laughs> which cuts it, that's a pretty good slice. And uh, Eric uh, Nelson that played uh, clarinet, a wonderful, wonderful clarinetist, uh, played, uh, Eric and I played together for a long time. Eric moved to Savannah, Georgia to be closer to family out there. So I was kind of the uh, Lightwood solo. It's interesting, you know, I came down to put, we came down to play one of these jobs and this lady called up and she said, um, how many people are in your duo? <laughs> I thought, this is going to be a long night, this is going to be a long gig. And uh, we didn't have a name at the time and she said, so what do you call your group? And I said, well, we play a lot of different kinds of music. We're going to play some show tunes, some jazz and some classic rock, and, but we don't do a lot of heavy metal. So I thought, well, the opposite of heavy metal would be light wood. So we became the light wood duo. And since the light wood duo has broke up, Jeff said, well, I got an idea. Why don't you put together a trio and come down and do this? And John saw me playing in the, I was, we were both playing at the Salt Lake City Airport. We play there every Christmas and every Thanksgiving. We kind of soothe everyone as they're a little bit uptight, catching their flights and stuff. So uh, we play at the airport and John, uh, caught me there and said, you know, we ought, to, we ought to play together sometime. It's just odd that we haven't played together. So we did a couple of casuals. And I told Jeff, I said, you know, let me put John on saxophone, and then, of course, let me put Jim on bass. Let me call Jim Schaub and have him play bass. So we put this together for tonight. So thank you so much for, for listening to our debut here. Thank you. We're going to play one more tune for you, and this is, again, this is kind of a, a standard of standards. It's a Miles Davis tune called Four, which is usually not done the way we're going to do it. We're going to play it as a samba. <laughs> so this is Four, and thank you once again. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, excellence in the community, everybody involved with that, uh, especially all of you for coming out tonight. Thank you. Thank you. 